Hi everyone, I am going to be showing you today how to install the rear trunk spoiler for a 2019 Dodge Charger scat pack. As you can see, the piece seems to be in very nice condition with a good weave, and it does have mounting holes. These are supposed to mount up to the stock locations on a 2019 scat pack. So we'll see how that works. The first thing that you're going to need to do when installing this will be to remove the trunk lining, which is also going to involve removing the plastic guard for the trunk mount and the rear handle as well. Once you get the carpet pulled back, you're going to see four clips like this that you're going to need to uh, to, to push in. So once you get those clips pushed in and pulled away, you can remove the wing from the trunk lid. One thing that's going to end up making removal of the old wing a lot easier will be some uh, plastic trim removal tools, uh, something that you can pick up for cheap at any hardware store. If you slide this in, then start applying a little pressure, the adhesive will end up coming off and you should be able to pop the clips. When taking off the old wing, you're going to have two 10 millimeter nuts that are going to thread into the wing that you're going to need to remove. One other important mounting point is going to be right underneath this trim piece. If you pull this back, you'll see a 10 millimeter nut that will need to be undone. A trick that I learned to be able to remove this clip is to take a seven millimeter socket and slide it right over the clip. This will push it in just enough to be able to allow you to remove it from the top. All right. Okay, now that we have the old wing off, we're gonna compare the mounting points. And upon initial inspection, it looks like everything is going to line up pretty good. So let's take a look and see what we need to do now. When you place your order, you're going to end up receiving a bag of hardware. There's going to be four bolts, four washers, and four rings. And then you're also going to have these little rubber grommets that you're going to place in front of each mounting hole on the wing. This is the order in which all of the parts should go together on the nut. And it should be able to just thread straight into the hole. Okay, let's get this mounted up and see how it looks. All right, as you can see, everything has lined up for the mounting points absolutely perfectly. And there you have it. Now just put everything back together the way that you took it apart. Make sure you give your trunk lid a good wipe down and polish and enjoy your carbon fiber rear spoiler. And here is video of the finished product. As you can see, the fitment and shape, it's a little shorter than stock, but not very much. But the overall quality of it, to be honest, I'm very impressed. The weave looks good. The mounting hardware lined up perfectly and it feels nice and sturdy. It's definitely very lightweight. Absolutely would recommend this for anybody, especially for the price.